Chris Dunganier, founder of the Conscious Education Podcast. This is a live session filmed in our Magnetic Mind Masterclass, which is a coaching program. If you hear me uh, referring to some of the guests or talking to people, this was recorded when it was live. And so you're not able to uh, comment or chat uh, to me, obviously. Enjoy this session and uh, do subscribe or share it if you think it's valuable. Bye for now. So what do we what do we do here at Magnetic Mind? Well, if you want to have a successful marketing business or if you want to have a successful speaking business or whatever it is, you want to have a successful uh, family life or successful career or lose weight or heal faster, you know, whatever it is that your choice is that you're choosing. The first thing we say is right now, there's nothing wrong. Right now, right now, there's nothing wrong from a from a super conscious perspective, there's nothing wrong right now. And that's the first, the first belief. There's nothing wrong with how it is right now. It just is. Then we say, okay, so there's nothing wrong. So that's cool. And sometimes people need to work on the fact that there's nothing wrong. Uh, how many of you, if I was to say, hey, there's nothing wrong with life right now. How many of you could, could really, you know, truly, Accept that 10 out of 10. Nothing wrong right now. How, how about this statement? How about this statement? Right now is better than where I want to be. Right now is better than where I want to be. Who, who, can, who can accept that? <laughs> Cameron's like, what? I'm just recovering from surgery. What? Right now is better than where I want to be. So uh, let me just, uh, yeah, it's cool to have resistance. There's no, there's no stress. Just honor the resistance. Premise. Uh, here's the premise that we give ourselves, hey, is, is that there's going to be this future time that's going to be better than now. And, and if you think about that, the underlying assumption is that there's things that are good, there's things that there is bad. And that's a self-conscious construct. That's a complete construct because we can all go, there are millions of places in the world that are worse off than what we've got right now, right? And whatever our situation is. So we could always rationalize it, but it's the emotional side of it, true? Is actually going, you know what? It, it's not what I I prefer that it was that, but hey, hey this, is, this is great. And so... It's an interesting thing. So, so that's the first belief that we really must get to get into the magnetic moment, into that wizard's gate is, is first really allowing ourselves to, to say, hey, you know, uh, there's nothing wrong with right now. There's nothing wrong with right here, right now, where I'm at. In fact, um, this was a choice or this was a creation or this is something that I, at one point, I actually wanted and that's and that's interesting. So, you know, you you go, hey, but uh, um, so we've got a person on here who's just finished surgery. It's like, well, you you know, you needed the surgery, so it's actually a movement forward, right? And so it's part of it, you know, and you get time to reflect and and, and time to be here. So anyway, so that's the first thing is going, hey, there's nothing wrong with right now. Okay. And then the second thing is, okay, well, there's nothing wrong with here. Not, there's no problem. This is great. So, okay, nothing, nothing wrong here. So what would I like? You know, what would I like? And, and what I find is interesting is so many of us are so conditioned to only be um, motivated by negative. That the idea of wanting something and being okay with right now is, is so new. Who agrees with me that that's so new? Being like, I am so satisfied with my money and I'd like more. Or I'm totally fine right now, but I want more. Like I'm totally happy with my job and I want to start a business. Why? Because I want to. Will it be better? No, be about the same. It's just different. And so it's it's just different. And it's a it's a new way of being where you're always everything is okay. So it's so a quick story. Um, we've had probably the hardest four days in business uh, that I can remember. So well, other than when, you know, for at least for three years, other than when D's died. Um, 
So here, here's a, here's the story. Here's my current reality. On Friday, our Facebook um, ads account got hacked. So I run a digital marketing company. This person hacked through our accounts, got into our clients' accounts, and has jacked up bills of over thirty thousand dollars in our clients' accounts. About seven people were affected out of about seventy five accounts. So that's just not good. Plus, all of our accounts are, are shut down, and so we've got this all this whole heap of chaos. And people have been upset. You know, money's been taken from their account, and you know, there's all this all this going on. And so the old me, the old me would be would be bad would be mad. You know, this would be you know this would be absolutely crazy, terrible. Uh, you know, what's going to happen? You know, will Facebook refund these people? Is it going to, you know, all, all of those things. And so that's that's the current reality, okay? And so so it's not, it's not good. Uh, it's not bad. It just is, okay? I think sometimes um, when people hear my coaching, they might try to find the good in things, okay? So, you know, like, oh, well, let's find, there's no, there's no good in this. Right. And so, so part of my coaching I've written down here today is there doesn't always necessarily need to be something good. Because having things not go right is just part of life. It, it, there's, if, if you're a gazelle and a lion starts chasing you, there's nothing good about that. There's no point in the gazelle going, well, at least I'm getting some exercise. Does that make sense? So th there's no point in trying to find something good around something that's just not good, you see? But also there's no point in getting negative about it. Does that make sense? You're crying, <laughs> good crying. <laughs> so so that, anyway, so that's that's the current reality. That's the current reality. And so we've all experienced things, uh, things that are going bad. True. And so if the premise is, is sometimes things are going to go wrong, well, Chris, you know, it isn't the point here that we're able to manifest and that every, my life's going to be perfect and great and everything's good. It's like, well, I just don't see that in reality. You know, I don't see that in reality. What I see in reality is people choosing what they want and then going for it and life being about sometimes things not turning up the way that you want. And so here's the, here's the key question always is where is your focus? 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 Is your focus? And so let, let's think about, you know, a situation for you when it hasn't gone right or in the future when it doesn't go right the way you want it. We have to very quickly not let this turn into a focus that starts taking, taking us off in other ways, you know, like, for example, what's going to happen, you know, if Facebook doesn't read all these things, all these questions, it's like, well, what's the true end result? And the true end result is, you know, let's get everything back on track. Let's go. Let's move. That's my true end result. Okay, so, so the first thing that you must ask yourself and type this in is, is what is my true end result? Like what is, what is true? What is true? Okay, so, so for, for mine, one of my true choices is to have an amazing uh, life doing, uh, doing awesome things with people I love. Like that's a true choice. What's a true choice? I want to I wanna have highly profitable businesses that, that run independently. Like that's, that's true. So, so what is true here? So that, that's the first step. So, oh, what's true? So, so all this stuff happened. It's started happening to us. And, and bad things, bad things you don't desire, they're going to happen. And so first thing you got to ask, well, okay, so stuff that I don't want's happened or happening. Okay, cool. All right, what's true? I want this. Now, this is very different to, well, what's the good in this, right? Where's the silver lining? There's no silver lining. You know, some dickhead has hacked all of our accounts and has ripped off friends of mine, clients of mine, and I can't ring Facebook. There's no good here. Does this make sense? There's no good when the gazelle realizes there is a lioness charging at them. There's no good. Okay, so, so I, I want to make sure that when stuff goes wrong, you first don't try to rationalize and find good. In this universe, bad stuff happens. True? 
things you didn't desire happen. And why is that? The, the, the why is that you're not the only creative force in the universe. You see, you're not there. So you're one creative force. You're going here. And as you're creating, there's so many other creative forces that are going to come in play. And one of those is other people. They're just as powerful as you, you see. And if they want to create this and you weren't looking at it, my example, they want to create a way to steal some money off people. And we weren't, we had a, we had a, we got that to happen to us. You see, their creative force trumped ours. Does this make sense? Give me a yes. We're literally, uh, we're prey of, of a, a human predator. There's literally a human predator like rah, come in and preying on us because we had a we obviously had some sort of weakness, right? So I didn't manifest it. Does that make sense? I didn't manifest this. I didn't create this. It just happened. True. It just happened. Now, yes, it happened on the full moon and Gemini. I've been told all the things, you know, but it, the truth is it just happened. And so the first question is, okay, cool. So that, that happened. This is obviously not good. It's not what we want. And so the, the choice is, so Daisy's question is a good one. She says, what about attraction? Well, I'm not the only force on the planet. You see, I'm not the only force on the planet. So I don't attract everything. See, it's how you react is what's really going to happen. So if I start reacting to this and, and creating from that, that's really going to take my focus. Does that make sense? Right? So th this, this is nothing to do with me. Someone else has, has come in. It's their thing. And I want you to get this because you got to understand in this plane we live in, there's such a thing as human predators. Does this make sense? There's such, that, that is such a thing that you go out to the jungle, you're going to see uh, a predator uh, go, and, and there's nothing wrong with it, right? It's just existence. And so a lot of times I can see people getting preyed on or things happening the wrong way and they feel like they're the victim or something, you know, that they're not powerful or maybe they did something wrong. No, it's just a part of it. Even the most powerful people on the planet they're gonna have. They're gonna have people. People do that. Uh, Daisy says it builds up somehow. Yeah, th those are all true. Reggie says, but what if the situation leads you to what you truly want? It definitely is. It definitely is. But not because of it. I was already moving towards what I want. Does that make sense? I was, it was definitely moving towards what I want, right? I, but, but I was moving towards it anyway, you see? So, so, so here's the thing is, is the first step is to realize, hey, you know what? Something that I didn't want to create is here, okay? It's not good. That's the current reality. It is not what I want. It's not good. But I'm not going to get upset about it because that's not me. I'm this person. This is what I create. So the way to do this is the first question asked, well, what do I really want to create? What is my focus? What do I really want to create? What is my true choice? Okay. Because this is nothing to do with me. And I want you to hear this for you when, you know, maybe, uh, uh, you know, a relationship, someone cheats or someone steals money or some sort of relationship happen. You can think, well, how did I create this? You can go into all sorts of, was it a past life? You know, oh, you can, can you see how if you pull on that thread of how did I create this, you can end up in some crazy place trying to fix yourself. Who's with me? What if, what if they're just a human predator trying to, to take something? And what if that's just part of it? So, okay, cool. Awesome. What am I going to create? Who's with me here? So asking yourself, you know, what are you going to create? It doesn't mean you're trying to fix anything. Okay. So in your journey of creation, in your journey of magnetizing what you want, 
things aren't always just going to go out the way that your little brain thought it would. Okay. And sometimes it needs to happen. Sometimes things will be better. One thing you don't want to do is try to find the silver lining in a shark attack. You know, find the silver lining in four lions chasing on you. There isn't. It's not true. Just something's trying to attack you, and that's as far as it should go. Okay. So it's just the facts. So you ask yourself, what is it that you would like to create? What is my true choice? That is step one. Step two is then tell it as it is. Okay. So true choice is my true choice is to have a wildly profitable company that I absolutely love that delivers predictable results to clients. That's my true choice. That's what I want. That's it. That's where I'm going. Cool. So I'm going to focus on that until I'm completely in that. I'm going to stay in that because that's my true choice. I choose it every day. I'm going to hold that true. I'm going to stay there. And then I'm going to go, okay, I've got it. Awesome. I got it. I know who I am. I know my true choice. Okay. Now I'm going to come back and look at current reality. I'm going to go, okay, current reality is this. Right. This is not good. That's it. Not gonna, I'm not going to create any emotion around it. It's not good. Right. It is not what I desire. This is this. This is this. And so we get into this place and then we just go, what is the obvious next action? What is the obvious next action? And we don't spend any time trying to figure out why or how or what or anything like that. I'll, I'll give you an example. Okay. In relationship, you can get to a point where the other person is dead set on creating something opposite than what you want. Maybe they cheat. Maybe they lie. Maybe they're non-responsive. Who's with me? This has happened to you in a human relationship. They just they set their mind on some agenda that they're not creating. You guys aren't creating the same thing. If you start asking yourself, well, what's wrong with me? Why can't I get this put? Why can't this work? You see, why is this out? If you start focusing here, you're not honoring that the other person is powerfully creating what they want to. You see, maybe it has nothing to do with you. This person just needs to go and create some misery to create some contrast. Maybe that's what this lifetime is about for them. That's cool from a super conscious perspective. You know, that's cool. Maybe that's just what they need to do. Maybe, but, uh, but it's right on Georgina. But there's no, there's no point. Okay. So even in those circumstances, okay, you must first, and I, you must first get into your end result. You see, you must first get into yours. And then you look back and you go, okay, this person, this is what's happening now. And then you go, what's the obvious next action? And that obvious next action might be confront them, legal action, divorce, uh, you know, whatever that next action is, okay? And then you just take the obvious next action that moves you to where you want. So example, uh, fighting, chaos, crazy business partnership, desire, harmonious business life, crazy. Harmo what's the next obvious action? Sit down meeting, expectations, and exit plan. Or exit plan. Great. You do that. That's going to move you here. But, but what happens, what keeps us caught in this cycle is that one of the six sabotaging patterns refuses to let us take the obvious action. Give me an example, Stephen. One of the six sabotaging patterns stops us taking the obvious action. So let's say the obvious action is to, you know, is to divorce. But we've got a sabotage pattern that says, I don't belong and I don't want anyone to know that I don't belong. So I can't take that. I've just got to keep it together no matter what. Right? What if the obvious action is business partnership needs to, to separate? right? 
oh, but I've got a capability problem. I've got a capability problem and, and I can't do it without them. I could never, they do, I can't, I can't. So I've got to stay in this partnership because they the one that does the thing I can't do, right? Or I've got to, I've got to own up that I no longer if, uh, want to keep this going. You know, I'm in a different choice. I want to choose something else. And, but, but my non-worthy or not good enough or my imperfection was going to hold me here, you see. And so, yeah, no, I, I just bundle that into non-worthy, um, Georgina. They have a, they believe they need to be worthy of it or something. You know? so, so this is what's going to happen along your manifestation uh, journey is at times things aren't going to be as you want them. Even though there's nothing, nothing wrong with you, you don't need to fix yourself, you see. You don't need to fix yourself. However, at times, the, the, the reality is as you're manifesting, there's nothing wrong with you as you're creating. Things, things aren't going to always go right, but that doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with you because as humans, um, a lot of the creating we want to do is with other humans true so a lot of the creating that we want to create also involves other humans and so what that means is you've also got to honor their creations too okay and this is a big thing i had to learn is sometimes it was it's them manifesting it however it could be either there's no point trying to figure that out. It's just, what do I want to create? What do I want to create? Where's my focus? What's the obvious next action? All right, this is where it is right now. All good. I'm still good. I'm still smiling. I'm still me. I'm just happy as I will be there. So what am I creating? Oh, I'm creating this. Great. What is my next step? Who can feel the simplicity in this? Too often we can get ourselves caught up and go, but what did I do wrong? What did I play into this? How did that happen? And you can get emotional and all these things. But, but the truth is, maybe they created it. Maybe that wasn't meant to be. There's so many options that it's, uh, it's endless. So instead, what do I need to create? Where am I now? What is my obvious next action? What stops me to take that action? Let's get rid of it, then take the action. That's it. That's it. The last thing I have down for you before we do a recode is... Your emotions are not reality. Your emotions are not reality. Your emotions are just constructs that your body has created as signals. So you feel guilt, that's a signal. That's a really big question. Do emotions create reality? No, action. Action creates reality and action is motivated by emotions. Action creates reality. That human walking up to that human having intercourse, that creates a human. That animal attacking that uh, vibrations, vibrations, how something vibrates is how we measure reality, um, actually, Daisy. Vibration, if you think about the word, it even says it's how something is vibrating. So it can't affect reality. Vibrations is how we're measuring reality. It's how it's moving. And high vibes says it's moving really, really fast. And low vibes says it's moving really slow. Does it make sense, Daisy? Yeah, so it can't affect reality because that's, that's actually how we're measuring it. We're measuring it by its vibe. Yeah. Now, now, now to vibration affects vibration, which is how we're affecting reality. Yeah. Okay. Um, emotions don't block reality. Emotions is what create action. Action creates reality. But, but um, yeah, right on cat. But, I, but uh, I was getting a bit off track, off track there. Your emotions are not reality. Your emotions and yeah, so Daisy says we can heal through vibrations. Absolutely, everything's a vibration. My sound, see what I'm saying? I, I think that that word is, is misleading, right? The, there's a vibration coming out. I'm vibrating 
the sound waves through here and you guys are hearing them. Does that make sense? So, so everything's a vibration. And so, you know, and also I get bugged out by the word frequency, by the way. Does everyone understand what the word frequency means? It's just how frequent there is a top and a bottom of a wave function. It's just how frequent it is. Does that make sense? It's just talking about how frequent, like how often you go to the dentist is how frequent you go, right? So it's how frequent a energy is moving up and down. <laughs> when people say, uh, you know, uh, anyway, so sometimes I think we, we miss uh, we miss things by the way that uh, some instructors or coaches explain words. I know it's a science lesson, but isn't it important? Sometimes you hear people say, raise your frequency. What does that mean? It means how much your cells uh, are moving up and down, right? Vibration is saying the same thing. They say the exact same thing. I thought about having this uh, T-shirt called Get Your Freak On, F-R-E-Q, Get your freak on. I think it's going to be one of our teachers. Get your freak on. Even though it makes absolutely no sense, it just means get your frequency on. <laughs> frequency more. <laughs> anyway, talking about weird science stuff. Uh, emotions. <laughs> I keep having to look back at my book of what I'm supposed to talk about. Emotions are not reality. Emotions are not reality. Emotions are just signals about how you should act. Emotions are not reality. They're just signals that give you instructions of how you should act. Emotions are not, uh, are not reality. Emotions are not reality. They're just signals that instruct you on how, what action to take next. Right? Think about it. So if you get a, a signal of, wow, that person's really good looking, the, the action is to walk up to them, right? If you get a fear that's saying, don't take an action, you see? So, so that, that's all they are. So a lot of times we can get our emotions and we can go, we can not listen to the signal, okay? And so all that emotions are, as Joe Dispenza says, they're a record of the past and they're explaining a, a signal that you needed to get in the past Okay, so let me give you an example. Say you got heartbroken. Now you're going to get a signal as you, uh, you're trying. Hey, Brian, good to see you. Uh, you'll get a signal if you're falling in love again that maybe it's unsafe. You see, so they're just signals. So I don't really like uh, to take action from my feelings, you know, a lot of the time because I'm going, oh, what's, what's that signal? What's that telling me? What's true about that? So, so that's how I wanted to finish before we do the recode is things are going to go not exactly as planned when you're creating with other humans involved. Can everyone agree with that? All right. Can everyone agree with that? Because they are powerful creators too. The point is, is that you're not broken. There's nothing wrong. So point number one, Point number one is when you're creating with other humans involved, they're powerful. So things aren't always going to go the way you want. Number two is, is to really understand that there's nothing wrong with you. You don't need to fix you if the current reality isn't as you want it. It's actually just fine. So you don't need to fix you. It just happened. Someone else might have caused it. it might have nothing to do with you. There might be something that you didn't, you didn't, uh, you know, button up or figure out. What's the maybe? I don't know what the maybe is. I expand if you need, if, if, cause I really want to make sure if this is landing with everyone. Uh, number three is choose what you want to create. Don't, don't focus on trying to fix this until you're really clear on what you want. Okay. Until you're clear on what you want, there's no action to be taken. Does that make sense? Until you get that clarity, just wait. Any action without getting clear on what you, what you truly want is action to resolve a problem. Once you're clear on what you want and you know where you are, then you ask yourself, what's the obvious thing I need to take next? What is the obvious next action? If there's any resistance to that, that's what you recode, the obvious next action. 